The 2024 BAFTA Games Awards were meant to be a night of celebration for the British film industry. However, comedian Phil Wang's opening monologue managed to steal the spotlight, and not in a good way. In a moment that left the audience gasping, Wang referred to Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, who was presenting an award later that evening, as pseudo-royal. The barb, delivered with a forced smile, sent a wave of awkward tension through the room. This incident comes at a time when Meghan Markle remains a contentious figure in the public eye. Her supporters admire her for her humanitarian efforts and her willingness to challenge royal traditions, however, she also attracts fierce critics who view her as an outsider who has brought unwanted drama to the royal family. A seemingly innocuous comment can be interpreted in several ways. On the surface, it could be seen as a harmless joke, a playful jab at Markle's status as an American actress who married into the British royal family. However, considering the ongoing scrutiny Markle faces, the barb felt pointed and unnecessary. Some might argue that Wang was simply exercising his comedic freedom, pushing boundaries to elicit laughter. However, comedy thrives on context, and in this case, the context was a prestigious awards ceremony with a global audience. A poorly aimed joke about a sensitive figure can easily fall flat, leaving more groans than guffaws. This isn't the first time Meghan Markle has been the target of what some perceive as disrespectful humor. In the past, late-night talk shows and cartoonists have taken swipes at her, often focusing on her nationality, her marriage, or her perceived sense of entitlement. These instances, coupled with Wang's recent quip, paint a concerning picture of a public figure who seems to be an easy target for ridicule. It's important to acknowledge that Markle herself isn't without controversy. Her decision to step back from senior royal duties and relocate to North America was met with mixed reactions. Some saw it as a brave move towards personal freedom, while others viewed it as a selfish betrayal of royal responsibility. This ongoing public debate surrounding Markle undoubtedly contributes to the atmosphere that allows comedians to feel comfortable making jokes at her expense. The fallout from this incident is yet to be seen. Meghan Markle has remained tight-lipped about the situation, but one can imagine the frustration and humiliation she might be feeling. Phil Wang, on the other hand, has faced a barrage of criticism online, with many accusing him of being insensitive and disrespectful. The pseudo-royal incident serves as a stark reminder of the fine line between humor and cruelty. Comedians have a responsibility to be aware of their audience and the potential impact of their words. In this case, a poorly judged joke has overshadowed what should have been a celebratory evening for the film industry. Whether this incident will have a lasting impact on Meghan Markle's public image or Phil Wang's comedic career remains to be seen, but one thing is certain, it has sparked a conversation about the importance of respect and the ever-blurring lines of humor.